Hello students, in the previous part, we had got an idea of what happened to Mr. Robert Quick. You remember, he was attacked by his daughters, and not only that, the dog as well. So, uh, in the ending of the last class, we know that the chair in which Mr. Robert Quick sat broke, okay, because they were attacking him on the chair so the chair broke and what happened the dog scratched his face right so today we will see what all happened after that kate was lying across his legs jenny on his chest she still held his collar in both hands but now gazing down at him her expression changed she cried, oh, she's bitten you. Look, Kate. Kate, rolling off her legs, came to her knees. So when they fell, Kate was lying across his legs and Jenny on his chest. Now, even as she fell, she was still holding him in the collar in his neck with both hands. Then suddenly, Jenny saw her father's face bleeding. Then she became worried. All of a sudden, she changed her wicked nature. She called Kate immediately and told her that her father has been bitten by the dog. Jenny tried to tell her sister not to take things lightly as it might be poisonous. Okay, let's read. So she has bad snort. The girls were still panting, flushed, struggling with laughter. But Jenny reproached her sister. It's not a joke. It might be poisonous. I know, Kate was indignant, but burst out again into helpless giggles. Robert put himself up and dusted his coat. He did not utter any reproaches. He avoided even looking at the girls in case they should see his anger and surprise. He was deeply shocked. He could not forget Jenny's face. Crazy, murderous, he thought. Not much affection there. She wanted to hurt. It was as if she hated me. Now after they all fell down, the father, Mr. Robert Quick, got up and dusted his coat. He did not speak any words. He did not even want to look at his daughter's face because he was afraid that they might see his surprise and anger. He was really shocked. The crazy and murderous face of Jenny kept lingering in his mind. He felt as if they didn't love him anymore. It seemed to him that something new had broken into his old, simple and happy relation with his daughters. That day had suddenly receded from him into a world of their own in which he had no standing, a primitive, brutal world. Now it had seemed to him that the father-daughter relationship he used to have with his daughters, okay, the simple and happy relationship had gone, he said. He had no standing or importance in their life now. He stated that the world had become primitive and brutal, meaning the world had become wicked. He straightened his tie. Kate had disappeared. Jenny was gazing at his forehead and trying to suppress her own giggles. But when he turned away, she caught his arm. Oh, daddy, where are you going? To meet your mother. She must be on her way. Oh, but you can't go like that. We've got to wash your bite. That's all right, Jenny. It doesn't matter. But Kate is getting the water, and it might be quite bad. And now, Kate coming from the kitchen with a bowl of water called out indignantly, Sit down, Daddy, sit down. How dare you get up? Mr. Robert Quick then straightened his tie, and at that moment, Kate had disappeared. She had gone somewhere. Meanwhile, Jenny was there looking at her father's forehead and was trying to control her laughter. Okay, She was still finding the whole situation funny, so she was trying to control her own giggles. Just as Mr. Robert Quick was about to leave, 
Jenny caught his arms and said, Where are you going, Dad? Then he said, I am going to meet your mother. She must be home by now. But Jenny said, You can't go in this condition. We have to wash your bite. She said, Kate has gone to get water. And then Kate came back with a bowl of water. And then she started shouting angrily at her daddy. Okay, she said, How dare you get up? Sit down. Now can you imagine these two young daughters speaking to their father in this manner? It is really strange. Mr. Robert Quick was also very surprised. She was playing the stern nurse. And in fact, Robert, though still in a mood of disgust, found himself obliged to submit to this new game. At least it was more like a game. It was not murderous. And a man so plump and bold could not allow himself even to appear upset by the roughness of children. Even though the children would not understand why he was upset, why he was shocked. Now, Mr. Robert Quick feels as though they were playing a new game. Kate was acting like a stern or a strict nurse. He said, this time the game is better because it is not murderous as the previous one. Now both the sisters were acting like nurses. Okay? Now even though he was still angry and upset, he was obliged or forced to do what they asked him. Now he did not want to appear angry in front of them and they are too innocent even to realize that he was upset. Sit down at once, man, Jenny said. Kate, put up the chair. Kate put up the chair. The two girls made him sit down, washed the cut, painted it with iodine, stuck a piece of plaster on it. Mrs. Quick, handsome, rosy, good-natured, practical, arrived in the middle of the ceremony with her friend Jane Martin, chairman of the welfare committee. Both were much amused by the scene and the history of the afternoon. The air said plen plainly to Robert, All you children amusing yourself while we run the world? So both the sisters started acting like a nurse. They made their father sit down. They washed the wound. Not only that, they painted it with iodine, stuck a piece of plaster on it. Now, in the meantime, while this was going on, Mrs. Quick, Mrs. Quick arrived with her friend Jane Martin. Now, both of them were laughing and feeling funny when they heard of what had happened that afternoon. Mrs. Quick's attitude clearly says that she was busy running the world or doing something important while he plays with his daughters. Now, was Mr. Robert Quick playing with his daughters? I don't think it was a game. Now, Mrs. Robert Quick was making fun of him, okay? Telling him that he was enjoying playing while she's very busy with her work. Kate and Jenny were sent to wash and change their dirty frocks. The committee was coming to tea. And at tea, the two girls dressed in smart clean frocks handed round cake and bread and butter with demure and reserved looks. They knew how to behave at tea at a party. They were enjoying the dignity of their own performance. Their eyes passed over their father as if he did not exist, or rather, as if he existed only as another guest to be waited on. Moments later, Kate and Jenny went to the house to change their dirty dress. Remember, they had stained their dress in the garden, so they had been ordered to go and change their dress. Mrs. Quick had brought her friends to have some tea, so Kate and Jenny came out to serve the guests. Now, uh, at a tea party, they behaved so well. Here it says they had a demure, meaning they had a shy and reserved looks. They were enjoying the dignity of their own performance. They had shown the exactly opposite behavior in the garden and at the party. 
No one would believe that these girls attacked their father in the garden. As they were serving the tea and bread around, they walked around and acted as if their father never existed, or even if he existed, they treated him like any other guest.